Today I got you guys five worst juggernaut locations in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies. What a way to open a video, goddamn. Yes, this is an episode number two with five more locations and I gotta give y'all a trigger warning like I always do for some countless videos that I put up on this thing called the internet, right? It's not gonna be as bad as the previous episode, I can assure you that, but still, get your helmet on, it's very important, it will prevent you from a lot of different things, let me, let me tell you that. Just like I got one while I'm recording this video and that's totally not an overused meme from episode number one. Basically in the first episode I could only have 10 spots but there are more spots and I find five worse juggernaut spots that we're gonna have in this video. I'm pretty sure there aren't more than this if you think there are more. Let me know after you finish watching this video in the comments and do consider episode number one because that's where we had majority of the locations and hey if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one and let me know that too in the comments so I can put you in my next video. But coming in at our number five spot now we're talking about say no more say no more we're talking about the Reese now the Reese it's a beautiful meme we had that in Call of Duty World at War um um we also had it in uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 1 um um we also have in Black Ops 3 or I mean Call of Duty Black Ops 3 zombies it's just a beautiful meme a lot of people actually play this meme or I mean this map and uh, this is one of Bob favorite map Bob loves this map because because Bob thinks it's like great of course he can play with the snow in the gen and everything like that but basically what I'm trying to say here is that the Reese we're talking about the original the Reese now Juggernaut will always spawn where the trip mines are in the Black Ops 3 version of the Reese and that's probably the worst location for Juggernaut ever period basically shit gets really intense once you lose your Juggernaut I'm gonna try to hit you up with an example let's say you're on round 5 you have just survived that uh, hellhound round and you know shit's crazy crazy it's like every time the hellhound spawn and you gotta actually work out and sometimes you lose million individual different brain cells right like am I right or am I right you lose them and then you're like okay I have enough points I'm gonna go by juggernaut and boy oh boy you will go by juggernaut and guess what round six will start and you're gonna be barely there it's like saying you're barely gonna have your feet wet and if you got your feet wet don't blame water water is not wet very important all right but the thing is like you're barely gonna be there and round six will all already like begin so you will go ahead you will buy juggernaut and once you're buying juggernaut like zombies will come from the left to the right they will be dropping in like there's no tomorrow and if you apply the same principle like let's say you actually successfully buy juggernaut on round six or five doesn't matter let's say you bought juggernaut you're on round 50 right now you go down and surprise surprise uh, zombies are spawning in and if we're talking about the original there is hey two hit and you're dead all right so what you gotta do you first of all of course you're gonna panic but I'm gonna say don't panic it's not healthy so don't panic stay calm very important you're on round 50 but zombies are coming in so it's like you already know like you don't have dead war in Call of Duty World at War or let's say you're playing Black Ops 1 the Reese was part of the resurrection DLC right so you know the two hit system is very not good <laughs> I know I could say it's it's very bad so you already know it's like very bad uh, and you're gonna try to actually go ahead and buy juggernaut and if you have like monkey bumps even if you have monkey bumps shit's gonna be hard to have like you're gonna throw one monkey and by the time you get there like that shit's gonna be over like that that shit's gonna be over or let's say you're only gonna throw your monkey bomb as soon as you're about to get your ass over to the juggernaut let's say you're on the bridge and hey you got monkey bombs and you're gonna throw that of course you're gonna be like my boy Carlos who's a professional zombie player in this thing called Call of Duty Zombies, very important, you know this, but what if you don't have monkey bombs? Then what, right? Then what? It, it's a problem. A lot of memes can be formed just based off this Juggernaut location. But hey, if we're talking about the giant that is a remaster version, of course, if Juggernaut spawned where the Vesper is, basically where Speed Club would spawn in the original there is, if Juggernaut spawns in there for you in the giant, then that's a beautiful location. But what if it spawns where the trip mines are and you go down on round 50, you wanna buy Juggernaut? because you know it's very important but you don't have monkey bombs then a lot of memes can be formed but coming in at our number four spot we're talking about transit now transit is Bob's favorite map Bob love this map he feels like he is in happy land every time he plays transit I personally don't hate transit uh, I personally don't love it I like it I mean it's uh, it's a good meme but at the same time Bob 
loves this man because he feels like he's in some sort of happy land. Because Bob comes from uh, this thing called Minecraft. He plays a lot of Minecraft, and currently he's on vacation. That's why you don't. Uh, that's why I don't got like ten things uh, noobs doing zombies, if you know. But, but it's coming very soon. But uh, at our number four spot, we're talking about transit. Now, let me actually say town first of all, right? Like in the normal town, you ain't gotta worry about the power. You ain't gotta worry about anything. Basically, all you gotta do is go there and buy Juggernaut. That's it. That's all. But in the original transit, first of all, you gotta actually build a turbine, which is not really a hassle, but I'm trying to say that it can be a hassle. That's exactly what I'm saying. So, you gotta build that turbine, and then you gotta go in the opposite direction, basically where the town is. You gotta fight denizens. You gotta actually go through that fog. You gotta go through that fire. A lot of shenanigans, but you know what I'm saying. You're gonna make it. Yes, you are going to make it. So, as soon as you make it, first of all, you need points. Now, you gotta worry about points, but hey, we have the bank system, so well, surprise, surprise, you got a million dollars in your bank account, so you're gonna go there, throw a grenade, pew pew, you're gonna go inside, get that money like there's no tomorrow, you're gonna come out like a rich mofo, right, you're gonna go up there, buy that door, put that turbine down, buy Juggernaut, and shit is crazy, right? But now what? You're gonna go and turn on the power, so you gotta go through that fog, maybe a little bit of fire will be there, right, Denison's gonna be on top of your forehead, and shit ain't that beautiful, but at the same time, shit is crazy, so you're gonna go there, turn on the power, and Avocadabra will be released, I'm not even sure what his name is at this point, but the electric guy, he will be released and everything like that, but hey! If you're not playing solo, and if you're playing with my neighbor Alejandro, guess what? As soon as you turn on the power, you're gonna be so happy that you got your juggernaut, but hey! Alejandro is in your game. He got EMP grenades. If you put one and one together, you know what's coming. Basically, he will throw those EMPs on Juggernaut and you're gonna be back to square one. But let's say if you're playing solo, of course Alejandro won't be there. But the problem is, it's that Juggernaut spot. Or let's say you need to buy Juggernaut, then it's gonna be problematic. Because a two-hit system on transit, it's not a good meme. Especially when you know denizens are a thing. Especially when you know fire, There, there's a lot of fire, right? And on top, there are two windows closed close to that juggernaut and hey surprise surprise zombies can jump from the rooftop as well so I mean it's not a good meme but coming in at our number three spot now we're talking about shadows of evil now this is gonna be controversial now the thing is I love shadows of evil it's one of the masterpiece and a lot of people would agree but a lot of people would disagree at the same time but that's not the reason why I have shadows of evil on this list but that is the reason why I have Shadows of Evil on the list, you know what I'm saying? But for real, I really like how Treyarch actually made this map, and on top, I really like the fact that the perks spawn randomly on this map, but at the same time, we know what perk will be where. I remember when Shadows of Evil first came out, like, we actually, once we actually figured out, a lot of people were feeling like they were like moonwalking and shit like that, because the thing is, there is a broken bottle outside of the door, indicating what perk is behind, and of course, you know, uh, like, if there's a green bottle that goes for speed cola, if there's a yellow bottle, or the orange yellow I'm not colorblind but I'm just saying how it is right so if you see that color bottle you know what perk is behind that and of course red stands for juggernaut so that's that so you're only gonna open that door if you need juggernaut right so you're gonna open that you're gonna go in beast mode activate that bing bada boom that's it that's all you have and of course you're gonna act like a normal human being you're only gonna buy juggernaut when there's a last zombie alive or a couple of last zombies alive right you're only gonna buy when you know it's a good meme or I mean basically you're gonna buy when you know it's safe but what if you're on round 50 once again and you have went down and you don't have the shield but you know you need to buy juggernaut so you're gonna go there and surprise surprise there are a lot of zombie spawns there's a window and shit is not crazy I mean if you actually clutch it hey papa bless but what but if you can't clutch that, then it's another problem. But coming in at our number two spot, we're talking about another controversial map, and please don't be triggered when I say this, but I'm talking about Mob of the Dead. Now, Mob of the Dead is one of my favorite maps, I gotta say that for sure, but the thing is, that's not the reason why I have on the list. Yeah, this time for real, that's not the reason why I have on the list, but that is the reason why I have this on the list, you know what I'm saying, right? But, okay, honestly, the thing is, Juggernaut location is probably not the best on this map, and I mean, I'm pretty sure you're gonna agree with me here because the thing is like if you go down and you know like it's a two-hit system right shit is complicated AF so like once you go down there are a lot of chances you're gonna go down once again and for real if you can get your ass from cafeteria to the docks without going down a single time then you're halfway there to actually be like my neighbor 
Carlos and shit is crazy so first of all you gotta go there you gotta make it there and uh, the mob of the dead juggernaut location isn't the best like if you actually have opened this door then it's another problem there's a window behind juggernaut and to the right if you open that door like god forbids first of all but there's another window to the left of you shit is crazy and it's a tiny ass hallway so if you buy juggernaut midway through round 50 do not go that way it's not a good meme but coming in at our number one spot Say no more once again. I got die rise on the list. Now, how do I begin with this? The thing is, perks are random on this map, like pack punch spawn randomly on this map and everything like that. But uh, the thing is, if you actually get Juggernaut to spawn where the power is, embrace the shit out of it play it like you have never played this map before it's like saying it's like the equivalent of you asking to get like two views on youtube but you get two million right it's the same shit if you get juggernaut to spawn like you better embrace the shit out of this map man but if you don't get juggernaut to spawn in here sometimes it's gonna spawn like down here sometimes it's gonna spawn there and the thing is like it's all well to get juggernaut when there's a last zombie alive but if you actually go down midway through round 20 or even yeah even round 20 get Getting Juggernaut back, it's gonna be a hassle, it's gonna be a pain in the ass. But hey, check out some other videos on the screen. If you have missed any of them, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And hey, smash a like if you did enjoy this video. And I'll see you very freaking soon.